Good evening, my BFFs. It's your girl, Kenya. Kenya with a J. Ken, Ken, K, B, the Black Butterfly. You know that's me. <laughs> and I'm here on Wednesday for your word. Your Wednesday's word. And the word is tolerate. Tolerate. Now, we're going to get right on into this. And I'm going to get on and tell you what I got to tell you and move out of the way. Okay? Tolerate. Allow or concede to bear. I took the word concede and I got the definition for that. Concede, to acknowledge reluctantly, to grant as a privilege. Hmm. Then I went on and I saw tolerant. Tolerant means long-suffering, indulgent. Hmm. Indulgent. Well, I took the word indulge and I got the definition for that. To yield to desires, especially those that are unreasonable or outrageous. To gratify one's desire to take part in. Wow, this is really getting deep. Tolerance. That comes from tolerate. Freedom from prejudice. The ability to bear hardships. An allowance for variation, resistant to effects of a substance. What? Tolerable. Endurable. Barely satisfactory. You all, when I ran across that, I was like, whoa, whoa. Tolerate. Tolerate. First of all, how many things, you know, I got to ask the question, how many things in our lives do we tolerate? Do we just allow, even though it is barely satisfactory? Y'all, can I, come on, ask yourselves that question. Can I get a deep with you? <laughs> I, I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try not to, but I just want you to ask yourselves that question. How many things that are barely satisfactory in your life? that you just tolerate. Jobs, uh, relationships, family ships, uh, places where you live, uh, things that happen in your neighborhood, children. <laughs> yeah, there are so many things that we as a as a people allow and we just tolerate it just tolerate it and it, it's barely satisfactory or uh, we have tolerance to it and allowance for variation resistance to effects of a substance we resist the fact to change it so we tolerate it so now i'm just gonna go a little bit further in that um and talk about we as a race, black race, as a people, how long we have endured and tolerated so many different things. You say, why you got to always go back to the past and talk about slavery, this and slavery. Oh, so tight. Can't we just, yeah, some people say, can't we just get over it? Will you say that to someone that was affected by the Holocaust? Hmm. No. There are other things out there, too. Will you say that? Will you say come down the years to all of those families that were caged, um, that came over over the border and, um, from Mexico, and they put them in cages and children have died? Years down the line, would you, if they're talking about that, would you say just... Get over it, which means you're telling me to just tolerate it, get past it, move on, don't talk about it anymore. It was that, come on now, but I'm just going to stick with my people right now. We have tolerated so much. We have endured so much that was not satisfactory to us, to us as a people. My ancestors didn't ask to come over here. 
but we may do and to save lives and to keep our children living and to live, some of us, uh, we tolerated a lot of the things that were done to us. So, um, to acknowledge reluctantly, yes, we knew that it was wrong. We acknowledged that it was wrong. And we acknowledged with, with some reluctancy, but we had to tolerate it in order to get to a point, in order to get, get past it, as you say. What things in your life have you just tolerated? Or you have tolerance to because you're reluctant to change it. You don't feel like you should change it. I am so proud of the um, group of people that went down to the courts and to the city and uh, in Dallas and fought for the young lady who was beat by a Caucasian man in the parking lot and it was videoed of his abuse to her over parking and she was arrested because she broke his window or damaged his car window some type of way. But it was videoed as to what he did. But she was arrested because he filed a report against her or he had his lawyers file a report against her but he could have beat her to death if he wasn't stopped. They did not tolerate the madness. They weren't reluctant to the to um, just allowing that to happen. And they stood up and they fought for her. They fought for her. And I have to give hands up for that. Hands clap and thank you, thank you, thank you. Because what more are we going to tolerate? What, how many more injustices are we going to tolerate? Um, even with our own people, how much more are we going to tolerate? Even with our everyday lives, how much more are we going to tolerate? There are things in my personal life that I've been tolerating. And I'm like, oh no, this has to change. This has to change. And things have to change in order for you to move forward. You can't continue to tolerate things because once you tolerate it for so long, you're stagnant. So, what in your life are you just toler tolerant to or uh, 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 it's tolerable? Eating something that is really gross, but you're tolerating it because you want to get it down and you don't want to offend the person that cooked it. <laughs> huh? Hmm? Uh, wearing some type of clothing because the person wants you to and you're just doing it because you just want to tolerate it and just wear it to make them happy. What are you doing to make you happy? What in your life are you tolerating that is making you stagnant to move forward? So, that is my Wednesday's word.